Coming up on Mountain News this morning, more rallies for abortion access continue at the state capitol. And one Commonwealth school is looking for volunteers to help restore records that were damaged in the July 2022 flood. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. We are coming up on 5 a.m. on Thursday, February 29th. Now let's check in with meteorologist Mace Michaels for a look at your forecast this morning. Hi, Olivia. We're looking at lots of clouds over the area in pockets. We will see the clouds gradually clear out and look for a much brighter day and a much drier day than what we ended up seeing, of course, in the area yesterday. Here's how it looks on the uh, sky cover side of things. You can see still a little bit of cloudiness hanging around in a few areas, but for the most part, we have a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Let's check our early temperatures where most temps this morning are hanging out in the 20s to low 30s. Again, we're looking at partly cloudy conditions over in the majority of the area, a little cooler towards Irvine, sitting right around 20. Here's that satellite radar, and it is much quieter again than the way it was yesterday, where we had, of course, all the areas of rain around and some of the stronger thunderstorms. The clouds have really cleared out now. We will look for a mostly sunny day today, but you look to our southwest, there's a lot of rain, and this is headed northeastward. That's in the forecast as we look into tomorrow. But for today, we'll start off clear and cooler this morning. Temps warm through the 20s and 30s, up into the 40s for this afternoon. More on those rain chances for tomorrow coming up, Olivia. All right. Thank you, Mace. Physicians and healthcare providers in Kentucky united against restrictive abortion laws. Wednesday, more than 280 doctors presented a collective call at the Capitol opposing laws for impending reproductive rights and risking the health of pregnant women. A current medical student mentioned the impact the laws have on students' decisions to practice medicine in the state, which could also impact more doctors coming into Kentucky. Almost 60% of medical students surveyed have stated that they would not pursue residency training in a state that has abortion bans like the ones that Kentucky has. Among those of us who leave, very few of us unfortunately will come back because we will be forced to choose between acting in the best interest of our patients or potentially facing prison time. Have taken a day from their studies to be with Doctors called for other concerned physicians and healthcare providers to sign onto their open letter. Heinemann Settlement School is looking for volunteers to help restore archives. Several archived materials were damaged in the July 2022 flood. Staff have begun the cleaning process. The archives include decades of history in the mountains and beyond. Archivist Sarah Insalco says the process will take a few years to complete. I would really like to see everything digitized within See, we're in 2024. Hopefully by the end of 2026 into 2027, hopefully have things either mostly digitized or everything digitized when we're in the new Opportunity Center. The Heinemann Settlement School is hosting an archive volunteer weekend from March 15th through the 17th. Wednesday, FEMA approved more than a million dollars to go towards the Kentucky Department of Education. More specifically, the money will go to Eastern Kentucky for damage caused by the July 2022 floods. KDE says the money will go towards repairing classrooms, automotive shops, offices, computers, and more. A new season of Survivor premiered last night right here on WIMT and one of the new castaways is no stranger to the mountains. He is a Virginia native, Atlanta resident and a college coach for several students here at home. But recently he embarked on another journey much further away. I had an exclusive interview with Survivor 46 castaway Tim Spicer. Survivor is back with its 46th season, with 18 castaways embarking on a journey to see who can outwit, outplay, and outlast. Survivor! Boom, shred manifested. With castaways from all walks of life, but one a little closer to home, Tim Spicer. 
helps lead students in the path to college graduation right here in the mountains. Saying in an interview with WIMT, this journey is about more than himself. I want my students and every student that I've ever mentored over the last decade to know that they're valuable, they should take a risk on themselves and put their best foot forward. But Spicer says he is feeling all of the emotions leading up to the season premiere. It's nerves, it's excitement, it's you're reliving some of these moments and you don't know what could be shared or captured. And Survivor host Jeff Probst says it is a season to get ready for. I had a smile on my face every single day because even though they are still playing this game and trying to figure out how to maneuver, they're doing it with a personality that's fun to be a part of. And Spicer agrees, saying that folks here in the mountains and even across the country will not want to miss. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect when you watch this, when you see the cast, when you see the tribes, when you see the challenges. I think um, I agree with Jeff. It is going to be the best of the era. You can watch Spicer's journey and the 17 other castaways this season each Wednesday on WIMT and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Next Wednesday's episode will also be two hours long. And thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we return, lawmakers fear artificial intelligence could play an outsized role in the presidential election. Let's get you out the door today with sunshine instead of all the rain from yesterday. Pretty nice day today. A little cooler, though. High temperatures on up into the 40s. In the full forecast, we'll look at rain chances that return for tomorrow coming up.